My name's Adrian Price, I'm the administrator for E.ON, so most of you have probably spoken to me or emailed me. Um, I just wanted to say, as a queer Australian, I remember going through the vote on whether I could have equal rights in my relationships, and there was a lot of harm done to people through that process. Has, is that being seen in your communities as well? I think it's... No, it's a good question. I think that um, there's always been a discussion about Aboriginal... You know, with, with, with community and, and, with, and with Aboriginal people as individuals and, um, you know, how, how we feel and, you know, who, who we are and, and, and what's it mean to us. Um, we run cultural awareness programs and I've been involved in cultural awareness for well over 40 years and I'm sure Shane has too. But, you know, I'll let Shane speak on that one. Uh, but, you know, in providing um, the awareness of who we are as First Nations people, um, that what we want and what, 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 what we want to have for our future... Um, it's never stopping, it's never ending. But it's also a recognising of what the past has, you know. Um, we've, only, we've only just touched it, you know. How big, how big is the line since colonisation has been in place? It has been, you know. Since white man in Australia, it's only about that big. Aboriginal people go longer than Swanson Street. So, you know, um, when we think about who we are and what we want to be and how we can fit into, the, in, in, into society, it's about how, how society can actually accept us for what we want to be and who we want to be. Yeah. And I think, you know, that, that one thing we didn't do all come together as first peoples in this country to have that yarn. I mean, we had the con congregation in uh, Mutajulu, um, the signing of Statement from the Heart. But we didn't come together, so there's a lot of un you know, misunderstood um, knowledge and, 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 and that about, you know, on both sides, which is sort of spoken about. And I've got to know this, I still don't trust government. I'm voting no, I still don't trust them. Everyone has a choice. I've seen how it's, it's you know, sort of divided, not in a big way, but yeah, in terms of opinions with families, you know, um, one being on one side of the fence because of these reasons and I'm on this side because I've been, you know, for these reasons. And, you know, I mean, that's always going to happen. But I think leading up closer to the actual referendum date is going to, you're going to see an influx of, of, you know, strength, not only from our people, but, you know, from all peoples in this country, mm -hmm. as the momentum starts to build. And, you know, I guess that journey and, and that being under that lens and under that microscope, that's our world. <laughs> We've always been under the microscope, we still are, you know, but how we can influence and, you know, give people an understanding, you know, and everyone has a choice, you know, at the end of the day. Mm. 